they say home is where the heart is and it's true build your life anywhere you are it doesn't matter you can always personalize your home exactly the way you like it same old story got no money same old story got to live mi casa su casa mm. yeah sure you're invited but my house is my house and I like to make it exactly how I like it. Yet another home away from home. I have been traveling for a really, really long time. <laughs> I've had so many housing changes. I've had to adapt to every single living situation. Downplay, compromise, I'm on a budget or go into a house that's already decorated. I've had a tough time with it because I really like for my home to feel, well, like me, personal, welcoming and cozy, but also stylish, a place where I feel safe and where I can do everything that I want to do. I'm telling you, this house right here was nice but it didn't have anything that I could say, right, it's about me. Here I am, cozily chilling on the biggest bed. I'm so grateful, because that's quite important to me, where I sleep. Let's start off with that. I have rented some houses where the bed felt uncomfortable or it, was, it felt like it was facing the wrong way in the room. First things first, when I come at a place, I think bed. It was so basic, all white, you know, nice hotel like kind of setup i do like the painting in the background i didn't bring that in but i have added tribal looking sheet and that's so light to travel with and i take this with me just in case if there are not enough sheets you know for whatever really but look how this transforms a bed rusty red pillow moroccan almost feel no aztec i don't know <laughs> works nicely with the lamp that's already here yeah here for it lots of pillows candles of course nice greenery outside you know again a simple thing like a little bandana but it goes with the color story of the pillows the second most important thing i believe the space has to be able to accommodate all my needs uncluttered uncomplicated i've had to be minimalistic not because i like the style but because circumstantially i couldn't log around things with me or get to keep things if i bought them for the house i hate when the camera does this it doesn't look like this in real life but just the lights i didn't even put any nails in there just put the thing around the kitchen and now it looks like a a cheap tequila bar but hey it's fun <laughs> it's festive and it changes everything no i had this little um accessories from a yoga studio way back when in my pacific coast of mexico travel days and these are the little things i was able to take and i've used this to hang up the washing on for decoration and look you know printed up these little photos to add that personal touch i mean this is lovely no nice fancy sparkling water the bottle's really pretty so i'm using that as a water bottle so you can reutilize learn to re market so to speak <laughs> what you can a salt and pepper you don't have to put out the ugly uninspiring things from the kitchen onto the table Convenience is first, ambience is second. So for example, even when I put my computer here, I know that I can just quickly plug it in and there you go, boop, it's charging. I like for things to be so I can grab and go. So I have my yoga mat right here, I can do my fitness. Macho can play with his toys. I have my accessories laid out. I don't like these little slidey hidden wardrobe things. It's, it's just too long. I wanna be able to see outfit da, 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 shoes done at the door small things deodorant i don't know mosquito spray body cream glasses you know quick 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 done phone charging i just leave the charger in there when i need it charging bam good to go so everything has a purpose in my house i know where everything is because everything has a place 
and everything feels like me. Same goes even for the kitchen, you know, like broomstick, conveniently placed, <laughs> hand towels, you know, little things like that, that I invested in, a little rack, because there was nothing to put the dishes in, but things that are functional, so all I did was just go for things that are the same colour, rather than just getting this odd crap here and there, Mexican kind of market type of place, there you go, look, a little rack matching glasses, matching cups, matching cutlery, everything ready to go. I already had this mixer for all my smoothies. And by the way, I do want to get better coffee, but I haven't seen anything that was actually what I believed was real coffee here. And I've utilized everything instead of buying it. So this from beans, and to put in my cutlery in, things like cooking pasta, Things that I know I need that are basic, but are serving my needs. Yes, Mojo? My fridge is very uninspirational right now. I need to go shopping. But yeah, the fridge of a vegan. <laughs> Fruit and veg. Not very inspiring. Peanut and mixed nuts. Spread. Mojo snacks. Of course, almond milk. Yeah, that's it really. And the third most important thing, of course, is style accessories in your house they add the personal touch about you but also it just goes to show that you don't need to clutter your house buying separate accessories that have absolutely zero meaning to your life and no utilization i do love plants but obviously i get plants and then what do i do with them after blah blah blah, blah. so i just think you know i have a nice garden outside and the whole of the island you know to enjoy the greenery but in my house i accessorize with things like my bag you know the stylish mask for god's sake um the straw bag i've utilized this this obviously is a necklace this is for the hair but hey it shines it's nice to look at and you can see about my life just by looking at this so this is great if somebody comes around to your house, they can sort of get to see your life, you know. Nawel's uh, football, um, my microphone, anything can be an accessory. I don't have any hats anymore, so unfortunately I can't use hats as accessories, but hats are great. So I guess this is it for me. I actually take it all back. And this about concludes my video. You know what makes my house very, very cozy? My dog, Mocho. <laughs> so that's my advice. Get a dog and you're never lonely, always with a companionship, always a warm house. Cats, dogs, rabbits, birds, wherever it is you're at. Animals make all the difference. <laughs>